Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Professor Chuck Wood coming at you from Duquesne University. Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about interview questions that you might run into when you're interviewing for operations security. Okay, so operations security is the day-to-day -day operations of the business and how to keep them secure. So the first question is, how do you use a trace route to detect security uh, breakdowns in your communication network? Okay, so a trace route goes through and checks every single router that you're passing through to get to one from one point to another. If a router is missing from a trace route, it often means that router is broken. So you can use a trace route then to track down which routers are not, are not functional. Now, the problem with the trace route is that it, it often will bypass a broken router and reroute itself to a, uh, another uh, area. So you often have to use a little bit of deductive reasoning and, and determine which uh, router has not been accessed yet rather than one that's been accessed and, says, and, and breaks down. Okay, the next question is, what are three ways to authenticate a person? So when you're doing your operation security, uh, you want to secure people. There are three ways to do this and you should use two. One is what you know, the other is who you are, and the third is what you have. So if you do two of those, for instance, a security card, you also have to enter a security passcode and use a card, that's two things. It's very hard to duplicate two of those things. So if you manage to learn my security passcode, you also have to get my card. So that's a, that's a, a magnitude of order harder than just finding out my password. So passwords by themselves are often ineffective this uh, two-factor authentication is much better for operation security. Okay, the next question is, what are three ways you can secure your mobile device? Okay, so uh, mobile devices, the bring, the bring your own device, BYOD, uh, that they talk about, is a big problem with uh, organizations. So if uh, you spend all of this time and money securing your network and someone comes in with a mobile device, they can compromise their security immediately, right? Because any uh, screenshot they could take a picture of, they could send things out, their own device can be compromised, they can use the device to get inside the network. It's uh, very difficult and companies do struggle with this. Okay, so three ways you can do this is first, make sure every employee that uses a mobile device incorporates some type of anti-malware on the device. So if someone tries to install something that they shouldn't install, the anti-malware stops it so that your employees don't have bad rogue programs running on their system. The second thing is that you could do is uh, uh, encrypt. Okay, so if someone has a mobile device, make sure the data is encrypted on the device. So if someone steals the device, they don't have access to all your company's data because they have access to someone's phone. Okay, so encryption is the third thing. And the, I mean the second thing. And the third thing is remote wiping. Okay, so there's a, there are packages out there that allow you to wipe a mobile device remotely. So if you're uh, working someplace and you lose your phone, you call right away and say, my phone's been lost, and someone will push a button and reset your, that phone wherever it is to factory settings while the phone still has power. And so that, those three things are, are important to do to secure a mobile device and do them because mobile devices are probably one of the biggest weaknesses in your security system right now. Okay, the, the uh, next is what is the largest risk to your organization there is a knee-jerk reaction, especially with all the big news items. Let's say hackers are the biggest security risk to your organization, but that's simply not true. Uh, the biggest risk to your organization in two parts are mistakes that people make that you need to secure from. So if someone uh, accidentally wipes out your payroll data, make sure your payroll data is backed up. If someone gets into a system and, and uh, accidentally enters a bad piece of code or from a programmer or something like that, your system takes care of that. Okay. Uh, the uh, bad actors within the organization are way more common than hackers outside. Um, and I, I use that uh, way more successful, I should say, not more common. So uh, if you have a, a 50 employees who want to get disgruntled and do things to you a lot more effectively than someone from outside trying to hack in. So while there might be thousands of people trying to hack in, usually your security takes care of them, but if someone's on the inside, usually your security is not as uh, robust from that end. And so that's your biggest threat to your organization. And then the final statement is, why should the C 
CEOs, CFOs, other managers care about security. Often, especially in uh, five, six years ago, uh, uh, managers used to say, hey, you said computer geeks, go into the corner and secure our system and let us stay over here and not worry about it. And then they would get hacked into and pull the security people back in front of them and say, I trusted you, what happened? But what really happened was the uh, management needs to understand that security is enterprise-wide, that if they ignore security except for a group of people, they will be hacked and it will be their fault. Training needs to be enterprise-wide. Security measures need to be enterprise-wide. They need the backing of upper-level management to implement the security measures at the lowest level. If they don't do this, then gaping holes will exist in security where some group sitting in a corner trying to write anti-hacking code won't be able to resolve it. Okay, so remember, communicate to the upper management, or if you are upper management, understand that if you don't secure your entire enterprise, you are going to be hacked, and there's nothing that a security professional can do to stop it. You need to have security as an enterprise-wide solution. Okay, and that's it for today. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my books on Amazon. Uh, some security books or uh, chapters are coming out real quickly. Thanks. Bye.